as we continue to look at our writing options here inside of CorelDRAW, I wanted to point out that we have a lot of standard writing tools available. And up here under the text menu again, and right down here, writing tools. And here we have a spell check, grammar, thesaurus, a quick correct option, language adjustment, and just off screen there is a settings option. Let me just see if I can scroll down a little bit. There we go. Settings option right there. So we have all these different standard options. Let's take a look at these one at a time. Spell check. Here you go. You can go through and take a look at the spell checker, see what it's suggesting. You can replace, skip once, skip everything. You also can add that to your standard, there it is, to your standard dictionary. I'll just click on add and it adds it to that dictionary. SEO, I want that. I'll add that in as well. Backlinks, I want that. I'll add that. YouTube, I want that. I'll add that one. Now this I don't need. We can just skip that one. I'll skip all. That's my, you know, the fake text right down below here, so I'll skip all of that stuff. So there's the spell check. We also have additional tools. Grammar checker up here, so you can adjust or check grammar. There's also a thesaurus, so you can look up words in a thesaurus if you want to, and there's some options in here as well. All kinds of options on controlling how the thesaurus works, so it allows you to look up alternates for the words that you may want to be, you know, you're writing, you want to have some variation in there. This will help you find some alternates to your words. So all three of those are combined into the writing tools dialog box. And then continuing on down here, there we go. The quick correct will just go through and correct it automatically for you. You can choose what language you're working in. Right now I have mine set for English US. And then finally, bottom of the writing tools, we have our writing tools settings. And this goes back to the options dialog box again. And we can put our settings in here for spelling, different spelling options. And we can set our options in here for quick correct. Now what this does is it's going to automatically replace things as you type and you can choose how it replaces and what it replaces down here. For instance, if you want to have it come in and give you the copyright symbol, if you just put a C inside of parentheses, it will then give you that copyright symbol automatically. Same thing for the registration symbol. So it allows you to quickly type in. It also has a lot of commonly misspelled words which it, it will go ahead and fix for you as you're typing in. So again you can come in here and adjust or correct your quick correct very nicely so it works exactly the way that you want it to work. Now I tend to do a lot of technical writing when I'm writing and I'll use a lot of words which aren't found in a regular dictionary because they're technical but they may be mis, you know, misidentified by the quick correct. I, I never use that for my kind of writing but you may find it very very useful. Okay, let's look then at those writing tools and again they're under the text menu and right over there and I'll just put my record window back up here where it belongs. There we go. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.